Last year, there was ice on a lot of lakes. Remember that, Maxie? The ice is going away, but <laughs> they don't want people to go a long ways from home to fish, and there's just so many different things, but it could be a boon for the fishing yes. industry this year, the way things play out. However, the fishing opener is Saturday. The state has sold 100,000 more fishing licenses this year than any given year. Amongst the new rules that may have slipped past some, no guides for hire. Not yet. They're off the list of people allowed back to work. Well, yeah, the crappies, you know, will start peaking right around the walleye opener coming up here, so... It is a strange time for fishing guides in Minnesota. This is another restart week for them, when the walleye becomes the feature piece. But not this year. Guides are considered non-essential and not allowed to work right now. You know, they're talking about canceling the state fair, um, all these major events, and there's no music festivals. I mean, this we, we've never been through this before, and it's affecting service people, resorts, bait shops, barber shops, everybody. It's not just that the opening weekend is now out, it's that the season, like the world, is filled with uncertainty. The annual client pool put on hold even if the ban is lifted. The, the big thing for me is a lot of my out-of-state people from like Tennessee and New York and Houston that have been coming up here for 25 years aren't flying and so they're just kind of basically scared off and you can understand why. So, you know, I'm going to lose a lot of my long-term corporate people. Because but good fishermen are, by definition, adaptable and evolving. For Carney, he took his boat where he could legally guide. South Dakota and the border waters, where the walleye bite <laughs> is on. It's been great. It was, um, it always is at this time of the year. And I go out there because the water temperature is 20 degrees warmer than where I live in northwestern Minnesota. And the walleye fishing last weekend was absolutely lights out, fantastic, and it will be for the whole month of May. It's not the ideal life, not when you live in Ottertail County, as Carney does. It's the fishing life of Minnesota he enjoys. But for now, the world is a different place, and that includes on the water. This is really, when I think back to the 60s and all the stuff that was going on back then with the social disruption, and, and you think of 9-11, this is a whole different deal. This is affecting people's lives and their income and their businesses and the resorts. I feel for the resort people.